I don't know exactly what the temperature is today, but it is warm. It was snowing last night, all night, and the snow has melted. Pretty much, right? Both of my favorite girls meet me at the door. Hey, babe. Hey. I brought you coffee. Thank you. Oh. I got my hands full. Everybody's got their hands full. Somebody was all excited thinking she was going to get to go outside. It's muddy out there. It's really muddy. She was actually outside on the front porch and she saw you coming and driving up and wanted to come in and meet you at the door. She saw me on the street driving? I think so. Maybe she just knows the look of our car. Maybe she can smell what's inside the package. Maybe she can just sense your presence nearby. Do you think there's some catnip in here? This is from a viewer. I don't know, maybe. Maybe she can smell the coffee because she's loving on the cups. Oh, that's your favorite. It's the incline. I saw it and immediately knew what it was. And this is the point. It's two very famous things in Pittsburgh. Show, I gotta... show me the first one again. It's like a trolley going like a subway underneath the ground. It's a, it's like a trolley and it goes up the side of the mountain and looks down on Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful overlook and it's very popular. Also, Pittsburgh's in front of yeah. whatever you can't see there. This is right like overlooking the point and downtown Pittsburgh. Nice. And then this is the point. As you can see, there's a point where all three rivers meet. The Ohio, Allegheny, and the Monongahela, and then there's the stadium. How far was your college from Pittsburgh City? <laughs> Pittsburgh City. Downtown Pittsburgh, okay? <laughs> Downtown Pittsburgh, I know how to say it. I know, you've heard it. My college was about 30 minutes. Oh, pretty close. 45 minute drive, depending on So you're on more traffic. familiar with Pittsburgh than I realized. Yeah. We go down there for a real good time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we'd go to concerts there, I'd go to museums there, I'd, you know, for, when we had our spirit week, you know, there was a student freshman spirit week or whatever, we had a lot of activities there, like taking the different ferries up and down the river and cruising. It was fun, you know? You were young and carefree. Because. I wouldn't say I was carefree, but but yeah, I was young. What's the plan? The plan is to go drop off a painting October, which is one of my favorites from fall. So it's already been sold, so we gotta go drop it off at the post office. And then we gotta go grab some grub because we need to eat. Yay! Yay! I'm glad you mentioned that. Star I just hunger pain setting in like Right as you started talking. And as soon as I started talking about it, Maki started eating. We're on the same system schedule. Schedule yeah. system. That's and right. it's National Hat Day, so I got my hat on. Okay, so twice the new K-pop group under JYP has caused a huge international scandal because one of their members, who's only 16, I'll come back to it. <laughs> Are you ready for what's supposed to be the most authentic Korean restaurant in the city? Oh no, the light <laughs> went out. I don't know if that's an indication if we're ready or if we're not ready. Oh, my door keeps shutting. I'm ready, let's go. I'm seeing a lot of 
Korean options that I didn't necessarily see at the other place. That makes me kind of excited. I uh, see that it's all written in phonetic Korean. It's not translated. Um, I'm seeing gamjatang, which I love. What just happened? <laughs> she wasn't sure if they had gamcha tang. I've been craving gamcha tang ever since we left Korea, so I'm really excited because they still have it. They, it hasn't all been eaten, so it must be good because they almost sold out of gamcha tang. We actually switched seats because there's a light right above us, so the lighting is a little better for videotaping. And the decor is pretty nice here too. It's so authentic. I was just saying, out of like on a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest of how Korea this place looks, it's like a nine point five. <laughs> and that's just because there's wooden chopsticks and there's not the tissue box on the table. <laughs> Dude, Otherwise, it'd be a ten. Look at the soju bottle advertisement. That's uh, Kong Hyo Jin. Yeah. Kong Hyo Jin making an appearance in Rochester. Yeah. She's over there too. She's with uh, Mr. Pretty Boy. What's his name? We yeah. made a video about him recently. Yes, I know, and I can never. Gui. Gui. Yeah, and I can never remember his other name. I just think of him as Gui. Yo, side dishes on point. How was it? I'm so excited. This day is so authentic. Cucumber kimchi is one of my favorites. Do you, can you see the excites on my face? Toads excites. <laughs> I don't even like some of these side dishes. <laughs> Wow, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, that kimchi burn. That kimchi burn, though. Is it hot? It's like back of my throat tingly. Hubby has been diving into the bunch and not saying a word, just going, mm. Mm. <laughs> like every minute. <laughs> this is the best side dish that I've had since we've been back. This is incredible. That tastes so good. This is almost as good as anything we've ever had in Korea. All, everything. Everything here is something that I like. This is an aged kimchi, which reminds me of a kimchi that we had when we were down in Busan one time and tried like so many different types of kimchi. It all tastes very authentic. I'm not a huge fan of all of this banchan personally, but it's very, very authentic taste. I'm not sure what this is, but I love it. All right, whoa. Okay. Wow, I'm so excited. So very excited. And that looks really good. Too. Yeah, that's perfect. I ordered godungo gui, which is macro. And it's very common in Korea. In fact, you get this for lunch in Korea for four or five bucks, depending on where you go, with all the side dishes and rice. 
And this is pretty close to the way it looks in Korea. Same thing. Yeah, I have a friend who used to get it all the time at the cafeteria at school, like the restaurant, not the cafeteria cafeteria, but the restaurant that was like a little bit nicer than the cafeteria. That's what he would order. And I got the gamjatang, which looks, it looks like gamjatang. We had the pork spine soup, and you got the potato, and you got the kimchi in it. I'm really excited. We have a very, very happy camper on our hands right now. It's so good, I wanna cry. Like, I don't know, I've been missing Korean food and this is like as authentic as I've, I've I feel like I'm in Korea, just a little bit. Oh, it's so good. So what does it taste like? It's. You've got the melt-in-your-mouth pork that's been cooking for so long, it literally fell off the bone. I got all my bones here. And then I dump my rice in there, and so you have the tanginess of the kimchi, the spice of the red pepper paste, the, the meaty broth, and the, the thick potato. It's an amazing stew. It's always been one of my favorite Korean dishes, and they really make a good one here. This is also really good. It turned out. It's bringing memories out of my brain. Just arrived back home from the restaurant. My belly is full. It was so good. Oh. Somebody wants in. I think. Hey. You guys, I feel like this week has been the week of boxing up and selling paintings. Because we're about to do another one. This one right here, what's the name of this one? Someplace Tropical. Wow. What's the story behind this one? Uh, this one I painted in 2014 um, during the summer. I just found this little note that I wrote myself and stuck to the back. It was originally called Far East and I painted it, um, it was the sixth painting I painted that summer. So, when we were still living in Korea, but we were home here visiting. Yeah. all boxed up and I sent the information for the shipping price to the individual who's buying that painting and we uploaded a video just a little while ago earlier when we were in the post office Steph started talking about something that was going on in the news and then had to go up to the counter it was this k-pop girl group named twice that got banned in China and I'm not gonna go into the details but we did upload a video and it is pretty unfortunate to say that. Someone commented on the video. We now know what the P in JYP stands for. <laughs> I cannot say that with a straight face. I think I'm going up. Hit the sack. Oh, that sounds good. I think I'm going to join you. How come I'm just finding out about this now? I said like five minutes ago, I just want to crawl into bed with you and Maki. But you got your computer there. You're working on some things. Yeah, I am. But I can always just like close it up for the night. Well, it's up to you. We should probably say goodbye to these peoples. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's say we're out of here. Hasta luego! Bye! Hey, Maki. Don't be shy. Say goodbye.
everybody's tired.